Now we're next going to look at one of several methods for solving quadratic equations. And that will be to do this. To put the equation in standard form, factor the equation, and then set each factor equal to zero. Now in that final step, we use something called the zero product property, which I've restated here in blue just to remind you what it is. And that is if we have the product of two things, in this case a and b being equal to zero, then either the first factor a is equal to zero or the second factor b is equal to zero. So our example, which should look familiar, is x times the quantity x plus 5 is equal to 50. So our first task will be to put this into standard form. So we have x squared plus 5x being equal to 50. Then we'll make one side 0. So we have x squared plus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. So now the equation is in standard form. So next we'll factor the equation. And I think you can see it will factor into x plus 10 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then we'll set each factor to 0. So we have x plus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. So then we end up with x being equal to negative 10 or x being equal to positive 5. Now if we want to express the uh, solution using set form, then we can say that the solution set consists of the elements negative 10 and positive 5. Now you might want to take note that for quadratic equation, generally you will come up with two unique solutions. Not in every case, but in most cases.